So a lot of people have been asking me whether they think this ozone generator is worth the money. So I actually bought one. This is the Pure Eco Laundry System. And I bought this a long time ago and I honestly don't remember how much it cost. It might've been $200, it might've been $300, but it definitely wasn't cheap. I wanted to see if this thing actually does what it says. So allegedly you could hook this thing up to your cold water and you could only wash in cold water or your your be your best results are if you wash in cold water and then you don't need to use soap anymore so it sounds a little too good to be true so to find out i got my trusty maytag commercial washer and i got my ketchup rag i'm gonna do a few different loads so i'm gonna do one load in straight cold water with nothing no soap no ozone generator nothing like i'm just gonna see how well can this washer wash a ketchup stained towel with no soap no ozone, no nothing. The second test is going to be tap cold water with the ozone generator. My third test is gonna be tap cold water with one uh, Tide Pod. So this is gonna be absolutely nothing. This is just gonna be tap cold water. I'm gonna use one ketchup stained towel and 10 regular towels. I'm gonna to put some microfiber towels in there too. Okay, so every load I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use power wash, tap cold, no extra options. See what happens. Okay, this is test number two. Uh, this one is going to be just the ozone generator. Oh, there it is. All right, let me get the other one. Guys, there's absolutely no difference, I think. What do you think, Bob? I think that thing has something to do with bacteria or disinfectant or something other than cleanliness. It's supposed to replace detergent. That's wow. what it's supposed to do. But look, it didn't do anything. This was with nothing. This was like just water, cold water. And then this was with the ozone generator. Oh, okay. Well, that's a very good comparison. Yeah. I you mean, washed it, them exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. One with the ozone generator. And one with nothing. W like straight water. Oh yeah, it's almost oh, identical. Oh, <laughs> and I'm gonna have a, I'll have my face on their dartboard too, right? Well, there you have it, guys. Ozone generator sucks. And it smells terrible too. Is that regular cold tap water? That this tap is ice too? cold tap water. With ketchup. With ketchup in one pod. Okay, so this last test is going to be 
all the same conditions, one dirty ketchup thing, a Tide Pod. I'm gonna use the power wash, but I'm still gonna use the tap cold water. So the only difference between these loads is one load was no anything, one load was just the ozone generator, and then one load was just one Tide Pod. So let's see how it works out. So these are the three towels. This top one is the ozone. This middle one is the nothing. And then this bottom one is uh, just tap cold water with one Tide Pod. And the camera doesn't show it super well, but the it looks like the Tide Pod did the best out of all of them. Not by much, but it did do a little bit better. I know it's really hard to see in this camera, but. I'll try and take a good picture of it so you guys can see. This is just a couple of shades lighter. So I don't know what to tell you guys. The ozone generator definitely does not improve. If anything, is just as good as washing with nothing. And that Tide Pod with cold water is just slightly better. Now, I did this same test last week with warm water, and this came just about perfectly clean. So I know they say ketchup, you should remove it with cold water, but... Evidently, warm water is the actual correct answer. Well, there you have it. So I guess this ozone generator is not really worth the money, although I didn't think it would be. Now, I don't know if this ozone generator has any disinfecting or deodorizing qualities. I can't really test for that. But as far as its alleged ability to replace laundry detergent, it definitely falls short of that mark. If you're happy that you watched this video feeling like you dodged a bullet, good thing I wasted $300 on this machine and not you. Feel free to give me a donation to help me cover the cost of this ridiculously expensive, useless piece of machinery. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.